lots of these pictures of the Empress of Geometry. It's an uh, uh, scarab, as you can see there. And you can, if you look at the voice there, you see the reference points, how they've used this as a template to design this piece of art. Antonio Stradivarius, if you lay that picture over this pentagon here, you see some amazing correspondence in one mind as well, and he had some inside secrets into creating one of the most wonderful violins in the world. It's a four and a half thousand year old Chinese coin, and what determines the ratio between this circle here, this hole, and, this, and, the, and the outer circumference, is the laying, if you lay this picture over that, you see that it's a heptagonal design, and that gives us the ratio. So there's a kind of hidden knowledge here, it's a bit Freemasonic in a way. I mean, someone who was initiated would pick this coin up and know that this was something special. Seven is seen as a very standalone number because it, it's got this irrational division of the circle. The rest of them can all be um, with whole numbers if you divide a circle by two, it's 184 and so on. So, what we saw with these five spots, these quintuplets, then, 1987, under closer scrutiny, was that they were perfectly ratioed. The ratios between the outer and the inner, uh, outer and inner circles were perfectly proportioned with this implicit geometry here. Well, this is octagonal, obviously. Um, you can't see this in the field, so in other words, you would have needed to, needed to draw all this and then rub it out. Something we know we can't do in wheat. There it is again. You can see that this formation here is not on flat ground, it's actually a scoop going up a hill like this. But when we looked at this under some closer scrutiny, we started to find that there was a great deal of implicit geometry. Can you see these two circles here? There's one there and another one over the here. These two circles like that are known as the vesica pisces. Well, that, this part here is known as the vesica pisces, or the fish's bladder. If you actually rub all this out here and just leave a little towel there and there, you've got the symbol that the Christian religion uses, this fish. Um, this is actually the most important thing. This, the simple circle was considered to be God, it was considered to be the one spirit. And in order to create life, God reflected himself by creating another circle from the radius, and it's therefore the mirror of himself. And it's from this piece of geometry that we can get, if you draw a line from there to there, for example, and then do the halfway point, you have a perfect equilateral.